Hello, this is Michael Imicke. Very recently, I received a call, an emergency call from someone I know from LinkedIn to help out with a facade lighting project that she just started with. It will take less than 15 minutes to do an entire facade. She started with the elevation of that project and created the entire facade out of uh, extruded volumes. It looks quite nice, but then she was unsure how to continue. So the first step would be to group things together, not to combine them, just to group them. Then second step would be from my viewpoint to create the building behind the facade. If I would do that without the building behind, it would look quite plain and boring. Therefore, a simple cube I would, to start, would like to start with. The height is not important at this moment. Because the next step is to take the grouped project, uh, the grouped elements, and rotate them so that they have the same orientation as a normal facade would have. And then position it correctly. As you can see, you have to be in the side view as it is outside out of the building. So you have to be in the side view to see it. Precise placement is helpful here. And once it is placed, we can continue. We have to make the story fit to the genuine size of each story of the facade. So I'm clicking onto that story. And as it is active, I'm changing the height of the story. But I have to see it in the complete building, so in the exterior view, in the side view, to notice if the changed height is correct. As you can see now, this is the correct height. So now I could go on and copy that, but as I mentioned before, it would look nicer if I have interiors, interiors that could be illuminated to add more, some more realism. So I'm creating very simple indoors. They don't have to be correct. So I have room one, room two, just four pots, points are enough to, to, for this project and room three. Close polygon, there you are. So that will be the ground floor or the first floor. As you can see, the uh, pedestrian walk is, uh, is incli inclined. We'll look at that later. Now I'm copying that story and one time and a second time. So I have all three stories. And as you probably have noticed, uh, the upper floor, the third floor is seems to be a bit less high. So I'm adjusting it to be fitting to the facade, but less so that it looks correctly. And once I have all three stories fitting very well together, I have the intention to add another fourth floor, allow me to insert roof. Because for roof, you have to have a full story available. So I'm adding a floor and here you can see that the facade at the top, top floor is inside of the, that's, that floor. So when I'm copying it, I'm automatically copying that as well. So this has to be deleted. Yeah, going back so you can see it is has been copied as well, deleted. So now I have an empty upper floor, story four, and I add a simple roof from the top view. It always has to be done in the highest floor. I'm reducing the roof pitch a bit, so it will be rather invisible if you just look at the facade, but you have that overhanging, which would add some more realism and probably give us the opportunity to insert luminaires at um, the, the top 10, 15 centimeters where the roof is extending the uh, uh, over the facade. Now I'm clicking all those surfaces which have been inserted as future um, windows. <clears throat> I'm making them thicker adding some thickness to them, inserting them into the facade. And now I'm adding the facade itself to my selection. Now I've got to spot which one is the facade. It's the element number one. And I'm using from the Boolean operations, uh, 
the subtraction. Same with the first floor, with the other floor. Oh, Misselected here. I have to unselect it now. You know, you can select, multi select with Control and Alt. Or oh, Shift. Yeah. And so I can unselect. Do the same procedure. Change the thickness, for example, one meter. Push them into the facade using the green arrows so it, you um, do not change the direction or the position. The, 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 position on the facade, subtraction, and it's open. There, two objects have been probably uh, copied once or twice too much, so I have to delete them now. Same has to take place in the upper floor, but before doing the same process again, I'm reducing the thickness of that facade. Here you can see where it is, and I'm dragging it back to the original position so it is flush with the facade of the first and the second floor. Picking the future windows, changing their thickness, moving them into the facade, selecting the facade, and then subtraction. And there you are. Now you've got these openings as I will as we would need them now. You would then have to insert the windows story by story. So going to story one, selecting a window of my choice. If that's not the one you want to have, you pick another one, or you can also substitute them later on. But the procedure is always the same. I'm inserting one, looking at and now again at the side view with that window speed window being still being active and now i can adjust it accordingly i have to be sure that i'm not changing the position in in its um, y direction so it has to stay there inside the wall so if you're lucky it snaps well onto the facade if not you can keep the shift button pressed down and adjust it manually so if that window is nice, I can use the uh, position active aperture, ap active door or window. So I'm using the same size and proportions as the one that I first made. Now I have to notice that all the windows are slightly different. So I'm going through the same process again, using one of the three manipulators and changing the position of the X and Y axis of each window. So this is the smaller window. This one has to be dragged to the right. Now it's, you see it's becoming more and more uh, correct. I'm changing now to a tone or shade of brown to assign that to each window's frame. So I can later on with a simple change colors, change that to a wood or a black or gray, whatever you like. That's why I'm assigning these window frames all the same color because I assume that they have the same color at the end. Now I'm assigning a color to the facade itself as well. And then you will notice how fine it has already been elaborated with the window sills and the small elements below them so here we have another window and I'm going to use that as a sample for the second floor. This one. Now go to the second floor, floor view and assign them there. Just a simple click. They'll be automatically positioned in the center of the wall. If that would be the wrong place, uh, then I can replay, uh, say, change their position, for example, making them having them further to the inside or outside manually. Again, I have to adjust uh, the width and the height and the sill height and so on, the force on all sides and of all the windows. That's a workflow which shouldn't take more than probably 10 to 15 minutes for no, 10 to 15 minutes for all the windows together. So it should be done rather quickly.
Yeah, here you can see how it looks like. The same has to be done in the in the upper floor, of course, as well. So I'm now before I do that, uh, I pick the color from the other windows frames, and now assign it to those windows by drag and drop, putting it from the sphere onto the window. On onto the window frame to be exact. Otherwise, the window would become brown as well. So now to the same to the third floor if I like but before now this is for the aisle for the pedestrians a surface an exterior surface that I'm adding and now I'm changing the angle so it fits well to the inclination that the facade shows to me okay there you are back onto the top floor top view making a sh small copy a simple copy of that position it in front of the other and as you can see with just a very few quick movements another copy you can add more and more realism that would be the road so that would be a few centimeters below six eight centimeters less typically the 10 centimeters is the height of the floor of the ground of each ground element now assigning a very dark gray and a medium gray to make that visible so that's the way it would look i would add now the the luminaires and that would be the final result you can see uh it's just a very fast proposal uh you probably like to add something different a different type of luminaires but that's the way it looks and you have seen also indoor lighting has been implemented i hope this helps you it helps you in uh, creating a similar facade, a similar project. If you need any help, probably training the future, then get in touch with me. Use LinkedIn or one of the other social media uh, ways that you know of. And um, yeah, I'm doing trainings every now and then, live, online, just like you want. Thank you for listening. Bye.